As we said at the beginning of the show, today we are celebrating Human Rights Day. And to tell us more about what this actually means to us as citizens, we have Janet Love, National Director of Legal Resource Center. Good morning and thank you for joining us on Agri TV. Thank you very much and it's very kind of you, Tabo, to invite me. What is human rights and how has the concept of human rights evolved over the years? I think that the uh, struggle to uh, bring about the realization of human rights for everybody is something that um, is all about people's dignity. It's being able to ensure that people are valued and respected and that the only way to do that is for people to act responsibly in order to ensure the rights and dignities of others. Tell us a little bit more about the Legal Resource Centre and the role that you play there. The Legal Resource Centre is an organisation that has provided free legal services in order to ensure that the rights of particularly vulnerable people are respected and are defended and advanced. I'm the National Director of the Centre um, it's an organization that has offices in four uh, different centers in South Africa, but operates nationally. How is the center linked to human rights? We uh, would uh, take up a matter on behalf of a community of people um, who have been um, forcibly removed from their land uh, some decades ago and who wish to have that land restored to them. Um, our role there would be to ensure that the heritage of those people is recognised and that their rights to access the natural resources of this country and to ensure those resources are, are, are possible. Um, we also have been engaged in a, a number of um, policy uh, uh, development processes and many of the people in the Legal Resources Centre were involved in the drawing up of the Constitution and the Bill of Rights that is part of that Constitution. Now, today we're celebrating Human Rights Day everywhere in the, in, the, in the country. Why do we need to celebrate human rights? Celebration of human rights is the celebration of the ability of people to triumph over lots of difficulties and recognition of those who have triumphed, of the importance of defending those who are less fortunate and advancing. Uh, opportunities for those who are less fortunate. So what we're celebrating is the diversity and the community of people, of uh, ideas, of freedoms. And freedom is something to celebrate because freedom is all about choice. It's about securing people's um, right to live and to live in, um, in safety, to live in the knowledge that one has privacy but also in, to live in the knowledge that one has equality before the law um, and one can expect a fairness uh, of society, particularly if one is a responsible member of that society. So that's what we're celebrating. And who benefits from these rights? Are we talking individuals or are we talking a collective here? And uh, what are the benefits really? What's the impact? To me, the ability to ensure that one is able to benefit for example, from our democracy and our new constitution, is an ability not to sit and wait for others to deliver, but is an ability to be an active citizen, is an ability to be sure to hold um, those who do have power to account, um, and to ensure that those who are more fortunate act in a way that is responsible so that in their greater fortune, they do not um, undermine the rights to a healthy environment, uh, for example, of other people who are less fortunate. And all of that is about standing up, it's being counted, it's being an active citizen. So to me, that's um, how people will access rights. And what can we expect in various places today? What will be happening in terms of activity to celebrate this day? In uh, Cape Town, uh, opposite uh, Parliament, I know that the Human Rights Commission will be holding a meeting where the issue about the right to safe drinking water and to proper sanitation services for this nation will be looked at and will be discussed um, in the hope that, as I said, people who are responsible for delivering uh, many of those services will be able to 
um, be held to account for what has been done, and there is a lot that has been done, but also what remains to be done. We also have celebrations that will be happening in Cliptown and that will be organized um, as um, a part of the celebrations pursued by the Department of Justice, which are a celebration of the fact that we, um, despite many possibilities to not be able to achieve what we have achieved, have achieved a nation which has an extraordinary amount of possibility and opportunity. And it, for the most part, has really advanced uh, the, 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 the lives of, of its people. And I think that we, um, when people come together in Cliptown, will be celebrating the fact of the Constitution, but hopefully not resting on our laurels because there's an awful lot still to be done. Janet, thank you very much for joining us this morning. Thank you very much for the invitation, Tabo. I appreciate that opportunity. Thank you. Agrarian